Hey, my name is Ryan Freeman. Welcome to my studio. Hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm going to show you how to install, save, and apply a master preset in GarageBand. I'll be installing my podcast master preset pack, which is available on my website. It's ryanfreeman.com. Installing these presets is very simple. It just might seem a little daunting because you haven't done it, but we'll have you up and running in no time. All right, let's do it. All right, so when you down my podcast master presets for GarageBand, it will come in a zipped folder. So you'll want to unzip that. So you get a folder just like this. So click that folder. And what you will get is another folder, Ryan Freeman Podcast Master, that has all of the presets for GarageBand. And they are a dot patch file. Within that master presets folder, you'll also get a GarageBand install walkthrough, which is fairly detailed. You'll also get a GarageBand kind of folder guide on where to install these presets just so you don't get lost. It's very simple and you, there's really not much that can go wrong. So click on the Ryan Freeman Podcast Master where you have all of your uh, presets made. You'll want to open up another window in your finder. And I've already kind of outlined it here, the folder guide. But I'll do it again. You'll want to go to your Macintosh HD or whatever you've renamed it as, but it's your hard drive here on, under devices. You'll want to go to Mac HD, click on users, then go to your username, whatever your name is. Mine is Freeman House. Then you'll go to music, audio music apps, and then down to patches. So patches is, like I said, the file for GarageBand, and it is going to go into this output folder within patches. So go back to your podcast master preset folder or whatever presets that you might have. In this case, we'll click and drag that folder into the output folder. And it's as easy as that. We have now installed our presets. Now applying mastering presets within GarageBand, you'll want to open GarageBand. So I've already gone ahead and prepped a project file within GarageBand. This is one of my podcasts that has um, a music bed, so music in the background with a narration, um, in this case, an intro in the very beginning. I'm Ryan Freeman, and you're listening to Workshop. So I thought this would be a great example to show you guys uh, really the beauty of these mastering presets and how they can really glue and unify a sound together. Uh, that being with the music and a voiceover, I know that's very typical in uh, in podcasting. So I thought it'd be just a great example to show you the power of these presets. What you'll want to do is go to this bin up here, your library. And before we go anywhere, when you open GarageBand, you'll have this and you'll say, well, is the master down here? How do we apply these presets to that? What you want to do is go to track, show master track. And that's what's going to allow you to apply, there it is, your user presets. So in this case, it's the Ryan Freeman Podcast Master. We got Remove the Mud. We have the Ryan Freeman Classic. We have a little Sparkle and Shine. And we also have Tone Down. If your audio is just a little too harsh and thin sounding, these master presets will make it sound a little more round and not as harsh. Of course, remove the mud, getting rid of that classic a muddy kind of muffled sound in your podcast and your audio. Um, we have the Ryan Freeman Classic, which is kind of just my, my standard mastering preset that I more or less throw on everything. Um, so now you can have that and sparkle and shine, pretty self-explanatory if you just want a, a little shiny, a little more sparkle in your audio, use that. And of course, we have the light, medium, and hard, which are different intensities I really wanted to give you as much variety and options within each of these kind of styles of mastering. I'd recommend just starting with the Ryan Freeman Classic on medium. If medium is not doing enough for you, go up to hard. It has a little more compression, a little more EQ, a little louder in the limiter. If the medium is too hard, go to the light. Um, not as much compression, not as much EQ, not as much limiting. You kind of get the deal. But I'd start on the Ryan Freeman Classic Medium. Pretty much for each of these settings, I'd start on the Medium. So I also offer podcast voice processing presets. And it has already been applied to my voice on this demo. Um, so in Duo, with the voice processing presets and the mastering presets, you really complete the sound and get something that sounds quite special. So here it is with it off. 
I'm Ryan Freeman, and you're listening to Workshop. Jakob DeBoer is a fine arts photographer working out of Toronto and here's it with the master presets on. I'm Ryan Freeman, and you're listening to Workshop. Jakob DeBoer is a fine arts photographer working out of Toronto and Paris. He just finished his new photography series called Where Ravens So as you can hear, the music has been brought up and the voice is really kind of nice, loud and clear and crisp. You really get a more of a full unified sound. Um, and I think it sounds really, really great. So just something to point out, I've designed these mastering presets to really process audio um, with, a, with a peak of minus six dB. You don't want this audio going too loud. I'm Ryan Freeman, and you're listening to Workshop. Unfortunately, in GarageBand, it's kind of hard to see a uh, decibel meter. Um, but the idea is that it's not being pushed too hard going into your mastering chain, where the mastering chain can kind of do that heavy lifting. So if you have a way of kind of seeing um, how loud your, your final mix is going into the master, uh, try to keep it below minus 6 dB or have that minus 6 dB kind of be the peaks of your audio. That's how I apply it. I'm going to do another before and after example near the end where there's a bit more music going on so you can really hear the power of these presets. And it's had a large influence on shaping how I approach my work. I've never really met someone more dedicated to mastering their craft than Jakob. Regardless of what industry you're in, you won't want to miss this episode. Love it. Sounds great. So that's how you install a master preset in GarageBand. Pretty simple, right? Told you. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. If you have any questions, just leave it down below in the comment section. I'll try my best to get back to everyone. Thank you for watching this tutorial and happy making.